everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I thought that I would share with you my favorite planner supplies and also some things that I found recently when I was cleaning out my like old kind of art journaling kind of supplies that I was using years and years ago that I found and am seeking to use a little bit more often. So we've got my tried and true favorites and then also things that I used years ago that I'm kind of in the process of rediscovering. So I thought I'd share with you both of those groups of things. If that's of any interest to you, I hope you stick around. My name is Jay. On this channel, I tend to create a lot of planner related content and I show you guys how I use my planners, the thought processes behind the choices that I make in respect to my planners and a variety of other things. But if that's of any interest to you, I hope that you stick around and like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And without further ado, let's just hop into it. So uh, these are two different pouches that I have. Here, this is a superior labor, um, medium sized pouch, I believe. Um, and then this is my Euroliku three pen pouch. This is the pen pouch that I take with me and has my most used supplies in here. So this is what it looks like. So in here, you've got three distinct actual pen loops, which is where, or like pen sleeves, I guess, which is where I keep my currently inked fountain pens. And then over here, you have kind of like a bigger area that you can stash a couple of pens. Down here, you have a smaller area, which in the past I've used for like business size stickers. Currently though, I just have a pair of tweezers and a Ollie clip. And um, in the back here, behind the three pen pouches or sleeves, sorry, I just have a ruler. So that's my current setup. I'm gonna walk you through all of these different things and tell you what I use them for and I'm gonna swatch them for you as well. Okay, so I've just pulled out a B6 Dology just so that I have a spot to like write on when I'm showing you guys the pens. So the first pen here is like the classic black pen in my pencil case that I'm constantly using. Um, this is a Uniball uh, pen body the Uniball 1 pen body in green. However, inside I actually have a Pentel Energel refill. And um, that's also the refill that is inside the Pentel Clenner gel, Clenner gels, the Pentel Clenna pens, if you're familiar with those. So it's just like a basic black pen. Um, the reason why I have put the refill for the Pentel Klenna inside of this pen is because the Klenna's constantly break on me. I find that the pen body of those pens are um, quite delicate, whereas the Uniball one is a lot more solid. I also just really like the color of this one. Um, so this is my like go-to black pen. Next, I have two more Uniball ones, which have the refills that actually come with them. This one is the uh, 0.38 avocado green color which green is one of my favorite colors it is my favorite color actually and it is such a nice muted green color I love it I like uh, to journal with this one sometimes and then I also have the Uniball one in the 0 0.38 again and this one is called cappuccino brown which is such a nice muted neutral brown these are gorgeous. I also have some mild liners, which these are pretty close matches in tone to the colored pens that I have. Um, I don't know what the official names of these are though, because mine are the Japanese versions. So this is like the muted green. It's pretty close in color to the pens. Um, and I realized that like coincidentally the other day, it wasn't even intentional. I just picked my favorite pens and my favorite highlighters and put them in this pouch, but they're like bought on matches pretty much. Um, so those are my like favorite things to reach for. I then have a Uniball pen. Uh, this is the oil-based ink marking pen. This is what I'll use if I am writing on translucent sticky notes or on top of st uh, stickers. This is like a Sharpie. It's a permanent pen, but the nib is quite small. So, um, and it's way smaller than the like Sharpie fine, the extra fine one. Um, so I can write as I normally would 
and it just feels very comfortable to write with but the ink allows me to write on permanent things that most pens and like slick surfaces that most pens smear on so I really like this this is definitely my my favorite permanent um marker I've ever used next I've got two different brush pens they're both the Tombow Fununasoke uh hard tips this is in black which let me know down below I've had multiple of these pens they're my favorite brush pens that I've ever tried but I'm at the point now where I feel like I need to start searching for a new one because the black ones that I get get like extra inky like this one is okay right now but sometimes I'll go to do it and it's like flooding the page with ink and I don't know why like this is a relatively new one originally when this issue started happening I was like okay maybe the one I was using was old so I opened up a new one, but it still happens and it still happens occasionally with this one to the point where like I'll literally get a tissue and like put the tissue on the nib just to try to absorb the extra ink. I'm not sure why that happens and I'm also not sure why it only happens with the black one because I also have the brown one and that never happens. I do wish that this was like closer to the actual nib. Like I wish it was a little bit darker and a little bit cooler of a brown. But um, I do really like the actual nib on these pens. It makes it quite easy to do like brush lettering. It's the easiest brush lettering pen I've ever used. The harder tip on it allows you to have a lot of control so you can really control the thickness of the upstrokes and downstrokes, which is like critical to brush lettering. Next, uh, this is one of the Marvy Colorin markers. Um, I had a set of these at one point, and I don't even know where they are, like the entire set. But this gray one, it's so faint, but I actually, I love it so much for giving like a background to lettering. So for example, in my journal, um, I've used it just to like give a little color swatch, and then I'll do lettering on top of it. It's quite a faint gray but I really like it for that reason. I never use it though to do brush lettering. Um, the nib is really flexible. The brush lettering would be pretty huge and um, it's quite faint. I don't even know if you'd be able to like fully read it, but for like putting color on the page to use as a background for something else, I love this marker. And then um, I've also got a Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen in the shade Earth Green. This is similar to the Marvy Colorin marker. I don't use this for brush lettering, but I do love it for putting down a swatch of color and then I'll brush letter on top of it. Um, again, green is like my favorite color. So uh, I really like this. And then this is just like a classic mechanical pencil. This one is from Muji. And I really like this. This is what I just use to um, like draw my dividing lines in my Hobonichi Weeks. Or if I'm like trying to map out a spread but don't want to put it into pen yet and want something that I can erase, this is what I'll use. I've used a pencil before to like map out lettering. Like if I'm writing a quote, I'll like map out where I'm going to put the letters just to make sure that it's evenly spaced and in a way that makes sense and then erase it after. So it's nice to just have a pencil on hand. I never really use it to like actually put plans down on my planner. It's more so if I'm trying to plan out a page. Again, tweezers, which I'll use um, for stickers and Ollie clip, which is also nice to hold down pages if I'm working on the go or to use it as a bookmark. Um, and then I've got a Coffee Monsters Co. ruler, which is just nice and handy to have a ruler. And then lastly, I've got the three fountain pens that I have currently inked up and that I'm using. I've got a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. This is the Line Friends Brown and, or sorry, Line Friends Bear. It's the brown one. I love this fountain pen. This is in a medium fine nib and it's great. I currently have Jacques Urban La Dete in there as the ink, which I really like that ink. It dries super quickly. It's a nice brown. I've got uh, the Brass Caveco in Extra Fine, and I can't remember what ink is in here actually currently. Hold on, let me see if I wrote it down. Oh, this is Sailor Kitsun Biore is the ink that's in here, which is one of my favorites. It's a nice, uh, slightly pink toned neutral. 
And then lastly, I've got another sealer. This is just the olive green one. And this is inked with the Ferris wheel press Peter Moss green. And again, green is my, one of my favorite colors. I mean, we're sensing a theme here in terms of the color story of my most used uh, writing instruments. Um, so yeah, that's what's in like my everyday pencil case. It's what I'm carrying around with me on the go. I work in the court system and the court system is pretty unpredictable. So sometimes I'll start court. Court will go for like 20 minutes. Lawyers will say they need time to do something and then court will go down until like two o'clock in the afternoon. So I'll go to Starbucks or to some other local cafe and I'll read or I'll journal. So I like to have some kind of planner supply on hand um, so that I have the freedom to do that if the time allows and creativity strikes. And that's why I love this pen case so much because it's quite thin and slim, but I can fit so much in it. So, and it also like lies flat so I can see everything that's in here when I do open it. Um, so yeah, I quite enjoy this pencil case. Some of the other things that I, let me move all this to the side. So some of the other things that I use is the stuff that's in this superior labor pouch. This pouch stays at home, but I'll frequently reach for it when I'm journaling because it has a number of other things that I find very helpful. So first off, it has some craft scissors. I don't even remember what these oh they're from ek tools i believe they're from michael's um they're just some classic craft scissors that i'll use if i'm cutting up ephemera or stickers or something photos uh which speaking of photos i tend to use the canon ivy i really like this little photo printer um i've had it for a couple years now it was a birthday gift and i use it quite a bit I like it I like the app it's really easy to use I mean the photo quality isn't the best but it is just fine um I have no complaints the photo paper though is a little bit thicker so um I've been using it because I don't stick photos in my planner all that often but if I was to start sticking photos in my planner more often I might just go ahead and print them on printer paper um so it it's a good product but keep in mind that the paper is a little bit thicker um, than like your average sticker, for example. I then also have two different kinds of tape runners. I've got a permanent one and a removable one, which I'll use for pasting things in as well. I've got a Tombow Pit glue stick, which glue stick's also a nice option as well to stick stuff in. And then this is just a variety of things. <laughs> um, I've got a bunch of Tombow markers, like the Tombow dual brush, like the Tombow dual brush plant, like the Tombow dual brush, dual brush pens. My goodness, this one is 228. Um, this one is 026, which you can use these for brush lettering, for example. or I can use them to just add color to the page and then write something on top of, or stick a sticker on top of and layer. So I have a bunch of those in here. I really like those. I also have some other Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen colors, which these are also nice. The nib is smaller than the Tombow one, so you can also use these. Oh, this is terrible. There's, I need a flat surface to letter. Um, but you can use these also to letter I these aren't my favorite for lettering though I will say the nib is kind of hard to manipulate but for adding color they're great um and then these are I do have a couple more of those Marvy brush pens as well which these nibs are very flexible kind of hard to manipulate they're more so like if you were doing a full page quote um I wouldn't I don't think you could really brush letter with these yeah they're so flexible I don't think you could really brush letter with these in a smaller area the way that you can like the Tombow Fuda Sunokas. Um, what else is in here? Oh, I've got a slice tool, which is just a little craft knife that you can use to uh, cut pages and stuff. There's a cut in there. I'll show you here. Uh, so it just cuts stuff. It's like a little ceramic blade. I just like how small it is. 
Um, these are also really cool, actually. These are the Ecoline brush pens. Um, these are watercolor inks. Let me actually flip this page over. So you can use these again to add color to the page. The colors of these are really nice, um, but they're also water activated. So let me see where, here we go. I'm just gonna get um, a water brush and as you can see, you can blend out the ink and manipulate it as you wish. So they're a really lovely way to, to add color to a page that's like mess free. Instead of pulling out a watercolor palette, it's just one pen, one marker, and you can play around with them as you'd like. So I frequently use these ones uh, dry, like I don't really add water a whole lot, but it is nice that that is an option um, to get that kind of watercolor effect, which is really pretty. I really like the colors that um, Ecoline has, like this pink is so cute. Adorable, and their grays are nice too. They do have a nice collection of grays. So those are the Ecoline um, brush pens. And that's the majority of what's in this pouch. Um, it's mainly just different colors, different ways to add colors to the page. And then some of my standard products that I don't use every day, but do reach for on a semi-regular basis. And then the last thing I actually found not too long ago when I was going through all of my older art supplies and I wanna play with these a little bit more. These are um, Faber-Castell Aubre Dure, I believe is how you would pronounce them. They're watercolor pencils. So again, they're like a colored pencil um, and you can add color to a page but they're also water soluble in the way that the, um, it's an ugly color, but in the way, <laughs> in the way that the Ecoline brushes are, but these ones, as you can see, you can fully blend out the brush marks. See the Ecoline ones, even if, I, even after I added water, you can still see exactly where I drew the line. The All Breath Dure, the watercolor pencils, um, you can fully blend out the line that you initially drew to just so that now it just looks like you literally put watercolor down on a page and they're so pretty this one is my favorite color of course it's a green um but it's a nice way to add not only color but texture to a page there's a certain crinkliness that happens when you add water and watercolors to a page there you could see i just mixed the two because there was still some of that yellow on the brush pen um, so yeah, you can mix the colors, you can blend them together. I really do want to use these more. I like completely forgot that I had them. And once I found them, I got really inspired and I put them all together in this one pencil case so that I can pull out, pull them out and have fun with them when I think about them. But those are watercolor pencils. So those are some of my like favorite supplies to use in mostly my journal or my yeah, mostly my journal. Mostly if I'm adding color like this to a page, I'm utilizing my journal because in my memory keeper or my planner, I tend to use more so stickers, but um, these are like my collection of my favorite things to use and also how I store them. Let me know down below what your favorite tools and supplies are to use in your planner um, and how you also store them. Like what pencil cases do you guys use? In the past I've used a Delphonics. I liked that as well. Um, now I use like a hodgepodge of different pouches but um, I'm always interested in like storage and organization type stuff. So let me know down below what you reach for. I just want to say thank you for hanging out with me. I had a fun time sharing all of my uh, favorite things. And before you head out, please subscribe. It'd mean the world to me. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.